Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more. What's, What's up, up young fam? So, on an episode of Cooking with Noah and Catherine, we will be making some pizza. Today. Yes, we are. I am making a calzone. Catherine is making a pizza. Catherine's pizza. She's gonna go ahead and make a thin crust margarita version. And my calzone will be vegetarian. So just in case you want a little vegetarian recipe, boom, easy to go. Let's eat. Pizza. <laughs> okay, so to make the dough, you get a cup of warm water, a heaping tablespoon of yeast, and a little bit of sugar. Azúcar. <laughs> Yo hablo español. <laughs> um, to activate it, and then we're just gonna stir it a little bit. I have a knife, so that's what I'm gonna stir it with. And then we're just gonna let it let it sit there for a second. All right, always wash your hands before you handle any type of cooking materials or food. Here we go. Starting the dough process. So we're gonna do three nice little level scoops of dry flour. Well, three cups, sorry. That's and two he's cups. Doing all this while the, the yeast is activating. activating. Getting ready. Oh, there's a hole in the flour right there. That went all over the counter. Cool. Three nice level scoops, cups of flour. Now we're gonna add some spices. You can add spices, whatever spices you want. We like to do a lot of Italian because it's a pizza, so I like Italian seasoning on my crust. So I like it to be half flour, half Italian seasoning. Mm, it looks, cooking looks good on you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, you can do the seasoning to your taste, obviously. Clearly. But we I know what I like. A lot. I also like garlic a lot, so you know, just the whole thing. You can put a whole tub of garlic in there, and that that'll be fine. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I think we need a little more. A little more. Stop. <laughs> And then always, just a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much of that, just a little bit. Okay, so this is the yeast, all like that, it's kind of how we want it, and pour it in there. Then we're going to come over here to our fancy smanshi, is that how you say it? How do you say it? <laughs> Put it there you go. That's how you say it. We're going to mix it up. So, now that we've added the yeast to the flour mix, we're going to go ahead and add our oil. So, what you do is you add it in there. As you add it in, it's okay to add more than a fourth of a cup. Yeah, a you'll see if it sticks here. A fourth of a cup is just a basic measurement to get you started. So, you will add as necessary in order to get a good doughy consistency to where there's nothing sticking to the sides and it should all be on that mixing cup. Here, doughy. That's so mean. Now that you've got Damn. a nice and mixed dough, there you go. You see it's a little bit clumpy still, but that's all right. We threw a little bit of flour on the countertop so that it wouldn't stick. And now your goal is to beat the dough. You have to beat it in there, activate that yeast, just really pound it out. She's giving a nice little massage. I like to really just get in there, grab it, and you know. Oh my God. When I say beat the dough, I mean beat the dough. You really want to activate the ingredients in there. And this is one of the best ways. It's how my mommy showed me how to do it back there at home. She said, you gotta beat the dough. You're crazy. <laughs> you gotta work in it. That's all right, now we're gonna let it sit in the little pan, cover it up with a towel. We're just gonna wait for it to rise and then we'll get to peaks to making. Guess what we're doing? Filming TikToks. Cause we're waiting for the dough to rise, actually, that's really good, guys. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Mmm. 
So right after this TikTok, we probably will start to make in. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, but I'm putting olive, spinach, mozzarella cheese, tomatoes. You want mushrooms, right? That's for my calzone. I'm making a calzone. Oh, he's making She's a making a pizza. Yeah, and an individual pizza for baby Maya. So, you guys will see that. Okay, so I'm cutting up the tomatoes. And now I'm gonna cut up like the olives, black olives, because that's what I want on there. But I have such a hard time not eating them. Do you guys like black olives? Noah's dad hates them. Don't get a four cheese or a cheesy one. Always go for something that has vegetables in it, like a garden herb or basil. Those have the best flavor. Babe, look down. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so I cut the olives in half like that. Like this. Stop focusing on my face. Well, I'm gonna have to eat that one. Again. It so good. When you start to roll out your dough, gosh, I have to bend down so much just to be in the frame. Why do you have to be so short? <laughs> it's all right to sprinkle flour across the countertop so that the dough does not stick to the countertop. Otherwise, you're gonna be tearing the dough, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, and you'll never get anything done. Oh, look at this cheese. <laughs> look at this cheese. I got mozzarella cheese. But, I'm excited. Guys, we got the dinosaur for Jeremiah today from TikTok. You know, the stupid dinosaur, and like, it changes colors. He's been like watching those TikToks for a long time and he's wanted it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And Noah drove. Uh oh! <laughs> Noah drove 30 minutes, 40 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes to um, another Home Depot that could have them. And they did. <laughs> And he was so excited, but he's been like cuddling the thing all day and it's just super cute. Hands on action. Yeah, so you kind of just do this first and then just start like... Pat it out, out, make it nice and even. Depending on how thick you want your crust is how much you'll stretch the dough. Oh, okay, he's on. Dinosaur! Oh, all right. Excuse me? That's a long walk. Like if you think it's gonna tear. Like <gasps> if you think it's not. See what I did there? Oh boy. Oh! My God, oh! oh my now it looks kind of like a square now instead of a circle, but it's okay. Pizza's pizza, no matter the shape or size.
So if you've seen my TikToks before, then you probably noticed the fact that we do actually have some pets. Of course, we don't have a dog traditional or dog or a cat. cat. We have sugary wires. Look, you guys, that's our little baby sugar glider. So cute. And they're so soft. Ooh, pizza. You want pizza? Say hi. <laughs> All right. Prepared pizza. Going into a 450 degree oven till the crust turns brown. So Noah's making Jeremiah's little tiny pizza. We could do like a cool shape for him. Or we could just make it a squirrel. I mean, a, <laughs> a square. Uh, I'm not that skilled with making pizzas. You just make it a square. Make it a square? Look at it, it's so cute. That one's definitely white. Oh, it's trying to jump. Hey you know. It's trying to jump. Hey you know. It's trying to jump. Hey you know. It's all the bananas. And here we go with the cow zone. So instead of starting with the sauce base, I like to start with the cheese base because I don't want it to get too soggy on the bottom. So at this point, I've already put down a few layers of cheese, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, fresh mozzarella cheese, and then I've gone through and I've put on some jalapeno peppers, some bell peppers, some sweet onion, as well as tomatoes, mushrooms, and black olives. Now putting all this together and folding it over, Sometimes the crusts rip as you fold it over, so it's good to save extra crust to try to patch it up. And just trying to make sure that every end is sealed very good so everything stays inside, doesn't spill out. It's a little messy when it spills out and you want all those goodies inside. I threw a little sauce in the middle 
and that will keep the crust from getting too soggy as it cooks. And a fresh layer of cheese on top never hurt anyone. Enjoy. Before. Okay, so to be honest, I actually forgot about my pizza, but I guess I remembered at the perfect time to where I like it because this is like crispy and nice. But oh my gosh, yeah. Maya's is done. Made some garlic butter, and now we are going to baste. So I like a little brush, a little basting brush. Just just enough on there. Oh yeah. Talk to me dirty, baby. Mm. I'm waiting for him to eat so I can eat my pizza, but... Oh yeah. Maya already went ham on his, his pizza because, you know, kids wait for nobody. Wow. The calzone is out of the oven. But before we slice into it, we want to let it cool down, let that cheese settle. I was checking the bottom of the crust and I accidentally split part of it, so that's fine though. So we're going to let it sit. I put an extra layer of the garlic butter on top and threw some Parmesan cheese as a sprinkle. And here we go. Look at that. Delicious. It's still a little warm, hasn't really settled yet, but I'm impatient. So. It is still scolding on the all inside. Done. I'm gonna have to wait to eat this. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's pretty warm. I was waiting for him, but it was taking way too long. So I finished like three slices of my pizza. I cut it up early because I'm impatient. And that's why it's all messy right now. It's just spilling out. So generally you want to wait. You want to let it cool down. You want to let it harden up. As painful as that is to so just sit there. Well, your delicious food is almost done. <laughs> so dramatic. But yeah, so that is cooking with us. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try it. Our camera's about to die, so we gotta go here. <laughs> All right, see you next time, young fam. Love you guys.